Welcome to Coder's Cults, Tips to Become a Successful Coder. Discover the foundation that all successful coders are built upon. Before I move onward, let me introduce myself. My name is Mike Lopez. I am the architect of Wishlist member, the lead developer of Wishlist products, a website development mentor, and of course, the founder of Coderscult.com. So, the million dollar question is, what are the keys to becoming a successful coder? Okay, let's answer that. One, first key is to trust yourself. You see, confidence is the number one issue for coders. Most coders, especially the beginners, usually think that I'm not good enough, I don't know enough, and you know, stuff like that. You see, if you don't trust yourself, then you're better off doing nothing. Okay, trust is the most important step to becoming successful in almost everything. Okay, and third, under this key, is to begin your coding career with whatever knowledge you have. Okay, if you have like just a few knowledge in coding, then start off with that. You don't need to acquire like a ton of different knowledge and different technologies in order in order for you to begin. All you need to do is just get started. Trust yourself that you could actually do it. Okay. Key number two is to never stop learning. Okay. Most coders fall, fail, because we always think that I'm the best. I know everything. I don't know. To, I don't need to learn new things anymore. Okay. Coding, just like learning, is an ongoing process. Okay. Keep up with current technologies and upgrades. Okay, if there's a new version of the language that you're using, check it out right away. What's the difference? What's new and stuff? Okay, that way you will always keep up with the new technology. Right, lots of people stayed behind with HTML, with XHTML, and did not even bother to learn HTML5, thinking that, yeah, HTML5 is just the same. And at that point, by that moment, they already stopped learning. So never stop learning. If something new comes up, check it out, especially if it is directly related to your language. Okay. Third is to accept projects that will actually force you to learn new stuff. Okay. Let me repeat that. Accept projects that will force you to learn new stuff. What's the point? Thing is, if you accept projects that are only at par with your current knowledge level, then you're pretty much stagnant in your learning. You have to force yourself to learn new stuff and accepting projects is the best way to do it. Why? One, you get paid for it. And two, you're actually um, obliged to deliver whatever you promised because you are, out, you, you are getting paid for it. So therefore, you will force yourself to learn and check out new stuff, okay? The third key is to have a yes attitude, okay? If you can imagine the solution to the task at hand, then say yes, even if you're still unsure how to do it. Um, let me put this another way. Let me tell you a story. I one time was um, at a project meeting, and the guy who, the owner pretty much of the company, was describing what he wants. And uh, as he keeps on describing, I was already imagining the solution in my head. And since I can imagine it, even though I still don't know the technology to use, all I said was, yes, that can be done. Okay, if it can be done, then I'm sure that I can do it. Okay, because I will do whatever it takes for me to learn whatever I need to learn in order to finish the task at hand. Okay, so have a yes attitude. The word no is a terminus. It ends everything. The moment you say no to something, it stops. That's it. But saying yes challenges you to aim higher, challenges you to learn new things. And that's what, and that is what successful coders always think about. Okay, I have this, um, I have this uh, saying that I always say in my uh, meetings and interviews that um, if it can be done with a one and a zero, then I can do it. Meaning, if a computer can do it, then I'm pretty much sure that I could write the code to do it. Okay. Third, if you're unsure and cannot say yes, okay, this is your fallback. If you can't say yes because you're not confident enough to say yes with whatever they're saying, then at least say that I will see what I can do about that. Never say no, okay? Check out, at least at least give it the opportunity or give it the benefit of the doubt. Just take a look at it, 
Okay, see what can be done about it. And most of the time, you'll see that it can actually be done correctly. Okay, so in summary, first is to trust yourself. It's the very, very important foundation that you need. Second is never stop learning. The moment you stop learning, you're left behind. Technology is so fast nowadays that if you stop learning, tomorrow you'll be like what? A hundred miles behind the race. Okay? And third is the yes attitude. Always say yes, especially if you can imagine the solution in your head. If you can't say yes, say, I'll see what I can do about it. Okay? But never say no as much as possible. Unless, of course, it's pretty obvious. Like, you know, can you make my website hack the U.S. government? Yeah, it could be done, but you don't need to say yes to that at all. Say no to that, okay? Things like that. Absurd stuff, just say no, yeah. But if, if it's logical, if it's, you can imagine how to do it, and if it's practical, say yes, okay? So in conclusion, just like any other successful person, coders need to start with a proper mindset before actually becoming successful. All right. So what are your next steps? Okay, so as the founder of coderscult.com, I would like to invite you to learn more about PHP web development by registering for the free webinars we offer at www.coderscult.com slash webinars, okay? That's coderscult.com slash webinars. Thank you very much, and uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.